President Donald Trump's higher American policy pushed Americans' wages up by 3.4 percent in the last 12 months, according to employment data released March 8. We're seeing wages rise more than they have at any time for a long, long time, Trump told reporters. He added. The big news, really, was that wages went up. And that's great for the American worker. That's something people, I don't know if they ever expected to see it. Vice President Mike Pence said, wages are rising at the fastest pace in nearly a decade, and more Americans are working today than ever before in the history of our country. Americans' wealth creating productivity is also rising much faster than under former presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama. Productivity rose 1.8% in 2018, up from 0.2% in Obama's last year, because higher wages are pressuring employers to buy the labor saving machinery that will help Americans produce even more wealth. But all the good news comes just after Trump publicly walked away from his higher American economic strategy that made it all possible. On March 6, Trump told Apple CEO Tim Cook and other CEOs that he would open a new pipeline of cheap foreign workers for tech companies. That shift is good for companies who do not want to hire workers away from each other by offering escalating salaries. The goal, said Trump, is to expand corporate revenues, profits, and stock prices. These are very ambitious people around this table. They don't like the concept of not expanding. Would you say that's right, Barbara Humpton, CEO of Siemens USA? Barbara is not into non-expansion. So we want to have the companies grow. And the only way they're going to grow is if we give them the workers. Since early 2017, Trump has faced mounting corporate pressure to reverse his higher American policy. That pressure has been growing as wages for white-collar workers inched up and has been growing stronger as wages for information technology workers rises. For example, wages for information employees rose 6.5 percent from $39.15 per hour in February 2018 up to $41. 71 per hour in February 2019. In general, every dollar added to wages is a dollar cut from profits and causes a $15 cut in companies' stock prices. To suppress these wage gains, Cook and his peers want to import more cheap foreign workers via the H-1B, 1 lira and opt visa programs. In 2018, for example, Apple asked for federal approval to import 1,814 H-1B visa workers and to get green cards for 103 visa workers. Overall, U.S. companies already employ at least 1.5 million of these visa workers. Trump's pro-corporate abandonment of his higher American policy also comes as newspapers increasingly, but grudgingly, acknowledge his success in delivering prosperity to a wide class of ordinary Americans who were left behind since 2000. The news reports are showing that Trump is making Americans' bank accounts great again after 16 years of catastrophic failure by Bush and Obama. Workers suddenly have more power to demand higher pay and better jobs, the Washington Post admitted March 8. Workers are receiving the fattest wage increases since the Great Recession as employers struggle to find enough people to fill their ranks and employees have more leverage to demand higher pay and jump to better jobs. Wages grew 3.4 percent in the past year, the government reported Friday, the fastest pace in nearly a decade and well above inflation, suggesting that employers are hustling to lure and retain workers. Many are slashing requirements for jobs and are hiring workers quickly to prevent them from being scooped up by competitors, a far cry from the days when job seekers felt lucky to even get a callback. Costco announced this week that it is raising pay for its entry-level workers to $15 an hour, up a dollar from an increase nine months ago.